I had my GoPro set on super fast forward for the entire first part of this video. And I can't slow it down because then it'll look like this. So I'm just going to do a voiceover and show you how I used air dry clay to transform this thrifted vase. Some of the molds that I'm using are ones that I've made out of either liquid silicone or silicone putty. And then I'm using some that I've purchased. And I'm using Crayola Air Dry Clay. I got it on Amazon. All the links are in the description. Before I put the clay in the mold, you want to make sure that you dust with cornstarch because that really helps to release the clay from the mold. And I'm starting with the big starfish because that's kind of like the anchor for this vase design. I'm putting a little bit of Mod Podge on the back and that helps the clay to sort of stick to the vase and then just keep adding bigger pieces and then I just keep building first that layer. first layer really with the starfish. larger pieces and just keep adding bigger pieces until I have a good base. This is a sand dollar mold that I made out of one of my very favorite sand dollars and I really don't have a specific strategy for which molds I'm going to use but I'm trying to balance the design just a little bit. I'm using a lot of starfish because I like starfish, but then the sand dollars really help to create that nice, smooth, organic shape. But I am slightly obsessed with starfish. Eh. Once I have a good base layer down and I kind of have the shape that I want, I'm going to add smaller molds out of this little white silicone mold. And these are just smaller starfish, smaller sea turtles, scallop shell, and a conch shell. I'm not gonna make a whole bunch at once, even though I'm gonna be using these more than anything else, because I don't want the clay to dry out. So I'm just gonna make a few at a time, you know, enough that I'll have something to work with. And these are just gonna be used on top of that base layer, primarily to fill the gaps, because I don't want any of the vase to be peeking through this design. And with this smaller mold, I'm mainly using the starfish and the turtles, just because I'm kind of obsessed with them using those as a second layer to add that depth. There's not a right way or a wrong way. I'm just sort of winging it with the design. So, you know, you do what makes you happy. I like the starfish and the turtles. But one thing you do want to use is glue just to make sure that you are anchoring those on really tightly and that way you don't have anything to slip off. Now I'm using the seahorse mold I'm making two of them and I'm going to apply those pretty randomly on the vase just to add a little bit more interest in something that's not a sea turtle or a starfish. Now this thing is going to sit for a couple of days until the clay is nice and dry. And this has been drying for about four days. And what I'm going to do is clean around this really well. I don't have that much on the glass itself, but before I go to the next step, I'm gonna mask it off with masking tape and paper because I really don't want, I need to seal, I need to seal all of this and I really don't want it going too much, like running all over the glass. So that is what I need to do. And I'm just going to use painter's tape I just want to try to keep it off as much of the glass as I can. Probably gonna get some on there, but I'm gonna, obviously it's gonna get on some of the glass. I mean, it's, 
I just want to try to keep it off as much as I can so it's not running all over the flip in place. Does that make sense? Because it's going to run, and if it's going to run, then I want it running on the plastic and not all over the glass. Because then that's less for me to clean up. Just broke his leg. That's unfortunate. And then I'll tape off this bottom here. So I made a mixture of Mod Podge, water, and a little bit of plaster of Paris. And I used this mixture to, to seal the air dry clay molds that I put onto my mirror and worked out really well. And I did a one-to-one -one mixture, but I don't think I'm going to make it quite that thin because this is a curved surface. So I'm going to use, I'm actually measuring, I'm actually measuring. So I'm going to do is that four? Oh shoot. Okay, we're just going to add one for good measure. We're going to call that four. And then I'm going to thin it out with two scoops of water. Large. And two spoonfuls of water, mix it up, and then it's probably equivalent to one spoonful of this plaster of Paris. And yes, it thickens it back up, but the plaster of Paris gives it a little bit more bite. All right. Let me find a good brush. It's a stiff brush, but it'll get into all those crevices. So I'm going to use that. And if I need more, I can make more. All right. I'm going to concentrate on the bobbles. Really runny. Really take your brush and work that sealant down into the cracks. Really, really soak it down. This is kind of like your suit of armor. You're sealing the clay and you're getting it ready for the next step. 
dry while it's wet. I've got some really chunky pieces of glue in here. Yeah. Take out. So my mermaid trash is just a mixture of sand and crushed glass and I even have a little starfish in there, glitter, all different kinds of stuff. I need to make some more so watch for an upcoming video. I do have a link in the description below on how I made this batch. And so here's what I'm going to do. I need to get it closer. All right. Looks like an E. And I'm going to get in these little crevices if I can. I'm just wanting to fill these little crevices in between where I might have some holes in here. Okay. And then I'm doing this while the Mod Podge mix is still damp. I'm not going to be able to get it everywhere because I don't want to tip it on its side. I want to leave it just the way it is. And just adds a little bit of texture and color to this. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to actually could do a little bit right there if you can see it. Okay. Now the rest of it I can add later probably, but let me see, let's see if maybe I could do it now. So I'm taking a little bit of a chance here. I think I can go ahead and add it. Now see, I'm going to take this piece off because it's a little bit big. I think it'll stick. Yeah, I might not be able to get it on the whole thing. I might have to wait until it dries and then I can do the other side. Now see, I'm really glad I put this, this plastic, although it did and it did leak, but I can get it off. It's just Mod Podge. All right, let's see if I can get it all on here. All right, I'm losing a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave it and let it dry. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it is going to take what it takes. I wonder if I should put some up here. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry. All right, this has dried really nice. And what I started doing last night, just on a little test spot, I just wanted to see what mica powder would look like on here. Look at that. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. This has dried so great. It is nice and hard. It's like an armor. It's like armor around it. Um, I'm using a little brush and I'm using my Sesso Aqua mica powder. And I'm probably putting way too much on here, but I just want to do little, little areas, I think with the aqua. There's Tip barking. Tip! And then maybe some of the silver white also. And this is just adding a really, really cool 
extra little, you know, little blingy. It's always in. Zola's in the house. I'm just gonna really dust it on some of the highlighted areas. And I'm adding way too much, but it kinda just off by itself. Oh my God, I love this one. this starfish and then the sand dollar I'm going to add this sesso silver white it's not really going to add color but it's going to add shimmer and I am making a mess on other areas but it's going to all blend in just adds a little bit of, you know, extra uh, little something. <gasps> it's really pretty. now is that I need to um, somehow on the edges I need to somehow seal up in here up in those these crevices that I wasn't able to do yesterday while that initial Mod Podge mixture layer was um, you know was still wet so I might just use straight Mod Podge to get up in these crevices because I need the vase to be on its side a little bit. And there's a lot of areas like in here that I missed yesterday. So I'm gonna have to do this in stages. And I think I'm just gonna lay it on its side like this. I've gotta support it so it doesn't roll over, but I'm just gonna start here and just do in little spots. I'm gonna clean the top a little bit. And I'm just gonna squirt it in there and then add the mermaid trash. So let me put a little bit of mermaid trash in a in this lid. Just like that. I don't want the chunky stuff. I want like this little bitty stuff. So I'm just gonna work in small areas because I do want these edges to be you know, somewhat covered and not just plain. So I'm gonna do little areas at a time. This is probably gonna take all day, but you know what? It takes the time it takes. Okay. This I probably will leave, but that needed some help. And so I'm just gonna leave that and we'll come back. This has really turned out so much better than I had envisioned. Now, it looks a hot mess right now because I have tape all over it. Towel. Don't scratch it. And I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Let's see what we got. 
Well, it didn't make a complete mess. I mean, it's messy, but look at that. It bled up under the tape. But I think I can wipe all that off with a wet towel. There we go. All right, so I wanna wipe up what is wet. Believe it or not, it's wet up under here. I basically just used a wet paper towel and wiped all that excess Mod Podge right up. It came right up and then I used a razor blade to scrape up what was already dried and then just polished it with a wet paper towel again. And it's, I mean, this stuff is on there. The only thing I regret doing or the only thing I regret not doing is painting the back. But if this is sitting on a shelf, no one's gonna see the back anyway. And that Mod Podge, I mean, it's, it's on there, look. So, 